Zubat is tough, but if you can catch one, you'll be able to count on it. I don't know. Zubat requires a little bit of babying before he really starts getting good. You said then he transforms into something horrifying, right? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. But we, I, I gotta find out what. <laughs> what you said? These, these things are vulnerable to fighting type? Yes. Mud sport. Oh, hey. The, the most, power was weak. The most useless move for a rock type. Are they vulnerable to electricity? No, not at all. See, the thing about, the thing about Geodude is he's part ground type. And ground types are completely unaffected by any electric type moves. Well, well then why would he have... Exactly! I mean, like, like if, if there were, like, team battles or something and he could defend his party with it, that might make sense, but... Well, see, that's the thing, is that there are, you know, there are, like, team battles. Like, double battles. But, oh, are there? um, yeah, there, there are, but, I mean, when you're just encountering one out in the wild, it really doesn't make sense to use it at all. Oh, I just forgot that was that wasn't a trainer battle. That was a while, but I, I should have I should have taken him alive. Taken him alive. <laughs> you could have. You could have. Yeah. Next time. Rare candy. Oh, um, pretty much you just feed that to one of your Pokemon and they gain a level. Oh. All right. Blow his head up. Oh man, I'm so close to leveling up again. Is there uh, an another thing you that that type evolves into beyond the current one? Uh, what Butterfree? No, that's that's okay. actually the uh, end evolution for that tree. Okay. Ooh, potion. Again. Okay, and oh god, yeah, those are those are the only ones that got banned over in Japan. There's a lot more of them that got banned over here. Okay, yeah, let's let's hear let's hear something about this. Okay, so um, one of the more famous ones. It's the episode was titled "Beauty and the Beach," at least over here. Um, and it was banned because it featured a male character wearing an inflatable bodysuit to give him large breasts. <laughs> Why was he wearing this? <laughs> to win a beauty contest. Oh, is he, like, disguised as a woman? Yep, pretty much. Yep. Did he win? Um, oh god, you know what? I haven't actually seen the episode, so I don't know if he did win, but still, just... That in itself is... Like, I can't believe they were ballsy enough to even try to air it twice. Like, it was initially banned when the episodes were first dubbed for airing over here. Oh, did it air once? Um, in, in 2000, the episode was finally dubbed and it aired two times before it disappeared, never to be heard from again. <laughs> that later? Yeah, this place is big. This looks like, this kind of looks like Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Oh, kind of does a little bit. Hey, I'm excavating from fossils here under Mount Moon. Stand and deliver! Sometimes Brock of Pewter Jim lends me a hand. Well, he didn't attack. Who would have thought that Carl would be the most reasonable person here? <laughs> right. I need to catch up on that shirt. I don't even know if it's still on anymore, but I know there's a lot of episodes in it. And another head explosion. Ah! Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought. That's that's not a reason to fight. No, it La really isn't. Last Miriam would like to battle. Sent out Oddish. That's interesting. Some sort of plant creature? Someone else a chance to fight. Yeah, it really doesn't make sense why a lot of these trainers want to fight. It's just kind of like, oh, hey, you're here. Let me beat the shit out of you. It's like that episode of Simpsons where Homer's at that country and western, country and western bar, you know, hey, you, let's fight. <laughs> Them's fighting words. <laughs> that was a very good one. Oh, 
Although their his energy drain thing is even less effective on me, apparently. Well, yeah, it's your your part bug and part poison, both of which are strong to grass. Sweet scent, evasiveness fell. Right, oh no! Poison. Okay, Logan, kick it in the nuts. <laughs> well, it's a girl, but what's the difference? I mean, when it's a walking, vaguely anthropomorphic radish, I'm not sure there's all that much. I don't know. I mean, you know, it is a walking it. plant, so it very well might have literal nuts. That's true. It's not very effective. Damn it! Let's see, normal. Well, at least I did some damage to it that time. I just, just let Logan keep doing it. I'm, I'm sick of swapping. <laughs> Why not? No reason not to. Bell sprout. Ooh, another plant, it sounds like. Yep, another grass type. That thing's kind of scary looking. Yeah, it looks a little odd. Oh, it's super there you effective. Go. Well, yeah, flying type to grass. Fine whip. I know I've explained that to you before. <laughs> uh, I know you explained flying type to... Uh, you probably have. I'm mostly thinking of flying type versus bug... Oh! 198 experience points. Nice. That's a lot. Jeez. Nice. Oh, I lost it! Well, no shit. How do you get out of here? It's so big I may get lost. That's what probably she said. <laughs> And they get lost and then devoured by the Zubats event after wandering around hopelessly, I guess. Yep, pretty much. It's still alive. Yeah, swap Lizzie and just so keep... Because she's, like, very... Not much she can do in her current form, hoping her evolution will be cool. Oh! Uh, it definitely hit. is. Damn you! Haha! <laughs> oh, this thing is poison, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is, so you're not really gonna do very much damage. But honestly, that'll probably be enough to. This leech life is not very effective on a lot of a lot of my Pokemon, it seems. No, not not particularly. It tries though. Ah, does he hit level ten? Level ten. Wait, she's transmogrifying. Yep, it's happening. You owe me all. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! That's a lot more bananas. Yeah, definitely. And it's got spears for hands, too. Yep. Poison spears. Bee drill. Fury attack! That sounds cool. <coughs> De definitely worth it. Bee drill's probably one of the cooler Pokemon that you can actually get this early in the game. Damn it, Zubat! It's already happening. You're already getting irritated with it. I am. I don't blame you. You wouldn't be the only and, one, trust me. And it's like, remember I said, like, you know, like, about the random attacks, like, the frequency of the random battles. Like, it made se it, like it made more sense when, like, you know, the battles were confined to those little patches. When, you're, when it's everywhere, it gets a little less... Not mean. Uh-oh. Heading down. I assume you're another psychopath who will try to attack me. Oh, we're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. Okay, at least this guy is actually hostile. Yep. Like, he's not hes not saying something completely unobjectionable. And then, oh, Team Rocket Grunt. There you they go. Have grunt. You have now they have grunts. They have grunts. Okay, so Team Rocket is like, are, they're big enough that they just have anonymous goons working for them? Yep. Sent out Zubat. God damn it. <laughs> 
you thought you escaped the Zubats. Oh, he's level 11. There we are. Oh, level 13. Trying to learn poison powder. If I ever use spring shot, string shot ever? No, not really. Two and that's spring shot. And poison powder. Definitely a much better idea. Oh, Ekans. That's another poison type. You can actually stick with uh stick with Butterfree and use Confusion Wait. again if you want to. Okay. I think I've met a game before. It's a snake. Intimidate cuts L's attack. Okay, I'm gonna psionically attack the snake. Leer. That just drops your defense. You're still right. going first next turn, so you're good. I'm actually running kind of low on confusion, so I'll just do that. It's kind of it's kind of confusing. Suitably enough, the confusion isn't a status attack. It's just. I know, it definitely it sounds like it would be, but it's actually a, a legitimate attack. So, you are good. I mean, confusion is a status thing in this, right? Yeah, it is. If you find a fossil, give it to me and scram. I just <laughs> bludgeoned you I just bludgeoned you into submission. You're not getting shit. John found a TM-46. TM case. What's that? Uh, well, I mean, it's thief. It's exactly what it sounds like. You steal something. Oh, okay. Who do I steal from? Whoever you're fighting. Oh, okay. Do Pokemon really have possessions? Well, I mean, sometimes they'll be holding items. So, I mean, yeah, sometimes. Oh, that guy was... Nine. Oh no. My electric powers. Help. Whatever shall you do. Now, if you if you use that again, you're probably going to kill it, so... Yeah. I'm going to bring Cory in, but just use, like, the basic tech. Or does he have the basic tech? I don't know. I think you might have gotten rid of it. Oh, yeah, you're right. I think... Yeah, I don't want to bind You can still poison it, though. You can poison rocks? Yep, you can. Which it's weird. You can't you can't poison steel type Pokemon. You can poison rocks apparently. <laughs> Cause that definitely makes sense, right? <laughs> rocks have circulatory systems. That's true, but you know, if something is a living being made of steel, you would think it does too. Damn it! Yeah, you're probably going to die if you do that. Uh, you can actually try to catch it now. I want to wait till it's red. I only have the I only have the one ball left. Fair enough. That's not it. <laughs> Poison just bypasses defense, right? Yeah, pretty much. It just takes off a, a set amount. Got ya! Sweet. Makes, its round form makes it easy to pick up. Some people have used them to hurl at each other in a snowball fight. That sounds, one, incredibly painful, and two, incredibly inhumane. It does. Sounds horrible. Oh, he's only actually a foot high. Yep, so he's not a very big boulder, but he's still a and boulder. It, female again, so it's not even a dude. It's not even an actual dude. <laughs> Alright, well, there's another... 
We'll just go through. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just go through the Final Fantasies until those are exhausted of characters, I suppose. I've heard worse ideas. 